Hello everyone, Suzy Gaming here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. Today I'm gonna reveal Terms and SU7 pack. Surprisingly all of this are my opinions. I'm gonna say lots of negative stuff about these vehicles because I'm 100% honest about reviews. Alright, so let's talk now. Starting with the Terms, 72s are the worst tank designs of the T-Series comparing to the T-80. So if I'm gonna explain shortly what kind of tank is this. Now imagine a poop and you cover it in a reactive armor, stick a decent cannon to it, and also stick a third gen thermals that nobody has at this VR. Terrible reverse, minus four, terrible vertical guidance, minimum amount of crew, most of the time enemy will just one tap you, bad turret rotation speed and bad barrel lift speed. What's making this pack recommendable is the second vehicle that comes with the terms. There's no alternatives, it's the best cast of the top tier Soviet at this BR. It's basically the copycat version of the 9.7 SU-7, but in this one BR is reduced to 9.3. And so let's make this plane really special you can drop six bombs separately and it has ballistic computer so that means between altitude of 750 and 1000 meters you can precisely drop your bomb to the enemy first two bombs you drop are really weak they will make you say oh how i couldn't kill that tank it was a precise landing because only 97 kilograms of explosive mass in it which is probably same weight as you now 500 kilo bombs they have 200 kilograms of mass these are a bit more effective i will highly recommend you to set the fuse to the assault second thing i will recommend as you know there's increased spawn cost of the casses it's really hard to spawn with full loadout with this plane not even that even armored belt will require spawn cost so make sure in the hangar select default no matter what t72 sometimes becomes really annoying actually I prefer to spawn with the squadron vehicle bmp2m if you still don't have squadron you can join to ours apply from the discord if you watch my previous t80 bvm or t90 video you know where the weak spot is enemies always gonna try to pen you through this window usually if they hit here to this window you only have three crews direct hit here will kill two of them and destroy your tank it is surely the best tank of 97 because soviets literally don't have anything else good at this vr here is some gameplay i hardly managed to get out of god knows 20 or 30 battles it was a really tough recording session not just because of the bad performance of this tank but also the bad performance of the teammates usually new players just spawn with t72 they die and leave to hangar and you're just all alone in the battlefield against seven enemies so hey guys Enjoy. Uh oh. I'm gonna dig a hole. Okay. Nice. Ay caramba! Come in. I hear a helicopter. This is being shot down. Oh my god, Bradley just shot a missile at me, I think. Ah, uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no! I'm alone here now, damn it. Oh, I love carrying the match against seven enemies.
He wants to help you. <laughs> Yellow markers, I'm in bomber. Uh, there's, there's a leopard here and he's gonna kill me, so... Yeah, there we go. Where that, where that marker last was, there's a leopard there. We have a lot of aircraft up. I have one bomb left. Got one now. Nice. There he is. I got his track, so it's not moving anywhere. Nice. Annihilation. They're keep respawning. Oh 
Ah! Unlucky me. Dude, I was uh, 400 away from the nuke. God damn it. Use him back up. Name. Go to Charlie. I have only one wing, and I got the helicopter. Nice. Controls are gone though. The I can spawn second time with the SC7. Full loadout. I just wasted backup. Sorry. So at the end, I'm still recommending this pack. This pack will teach you how to play at the top tier and pre-top tier. The thermals and the explosive armor improves this tank's performance a lot. Without it, it's just trash, just like regular T-72. But yeah, there's no alternatives in the Soviet tech tree that offers good cast. So this is the only pack we have. As you know, there is a new battle pass vehicle. By the way, expect a review really soon. PT-7657. You can pair this 7.0 vehicle with the premium SU-11. SU-11's ground pounding loadout is not the best, it's pretty average. But you can also pair that tank with the P-8 or Yak-90, ITP, Tizma. So yeah, you have your options. Time to time there's giveaways in my Discord server, so make sure to join there as well. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.